To conclude the list of ROS2 features that make it similar to an operating system, in this lesson we will talk about package management. Package management refers to the organization of code and functionalities of our robot into different packages that interact with each other and might rely on functionalities that are implemented in other packages. Certainly, a developer could decide to implement all the functionalities of a robot within a single package containing all the software for that robot. Such approach, although it's possible in ROS2, is strongly discouraged and not advantageous. Such code architecture, or better, such lack of architecture, prevents code reusability, maintainability, and also modularity. A better approach instead is to divide the robot's functionalities into different packages where each package focuses on implementing a single functionality for the robot. Then each package might contain multiple nodes, but the logic they implement relates to the same atomic functionality. With such an approach, if, for example, after developing an autonomous mobile robot, you decide to develop an autonomous drone, you can choose to reuse certain packages. For example, you can decide to reuse the navigation and mapping packages if you use the same sensor for both the drone and your mobile robot.